Hi Nikos, it's great to have you back in Madrid. You came right after Mundos Digitales. Mundos Digitales, have. yes, thank you for inviting me. We start with the beginning, who is Nikos? Who are you? Who is Nikos? How would you define yourself as an artist? Well, um, I had a good start. Um, I studied actually architecture, which definitely helped me on my work now, working with architects. But uh, as soon as I started working, I realized that my passion was 3D and making beautiful images using software. And I actually started with an uh, advertising company right. in Greece and then moved into production with VFX companies. And then I came to London, which I focused more into architecture. You were working in an architectural studio there? I was doing an um, architectural visualization studio and and as a CGI director uh, almost five years with Cityscape. Yeah. As an artist, I always say I believe that knowledge is to share. So that's why I like the whole new creative lighting philosophy because it's all sharing. So yeah. you find your inspiration everywhere, every day? Everywhere I go. Um, I take pictures with my phone. I always say to people that take pictures, go out, enjoy life. And that's why I call it like it's a life experience. Going back to the technical part, could you tell us a little bit more about the software that you're using? My pipeline is, is simple. Um, I'm using 3D Studio Max and Maxwell for rendering. I, I don't think I'm a guy that does a lot of post-production. I'm not that kind of a guy. I believe that every artist has their tools. True. For me, the last year, especially the last three years, it's all about Maxwell. I tried the software, it went really well. I was getting like photo results straight away, and really fast. Production time was amazing. People, do you feel that you have to be a photographer, you have to have photographic knowledge to be able to use Maxwell properly? I'm not saying to be a photographer, I'm saying understanding photography. Like, even if you I'm have a camera, great. just go out and play with the camera. How was the creative lighting concept born? How did it start? Yes, so after five years, you know, I decided to go back to Greece. But my collaboration and partnership with Cityscape was great because we had done really well the last years. I stayed with them the whole five years in London. And we decided that we want to work together. Like, But we asked ourselves how. I mean, doing images from distance maybe it wasn't the best for us. And we decided that, okay, we well, don't start training, like offering consultancy, you know, where you can actually do it from any place in the world and you can travel around. We start developing more about, okay, well, why we don't share this knowledge, why we don't share this philosophy, and why we don't make a new brand to actually sit nicely together, and this brand can be all over now. The platform to The platform, it. yeah. So creative lighting, for me, as an artist, you know, it's all about, first of all, we believe in the power of the artist. It's all about finding your own perspective, your own way of seeing things through light. And, you know, it's a new way of thinking and the approach team was making but for me it becomes a new layer for life now because I'm all over talking about That's creative right. lighting and I realized that um, the inspiration is coming from cinematography, cinematic lighting techniques and photography and even paintings for composition and light so much to learn. So we use using Maxwell because of this idea that Maxwell is a light simulator and it's physical correct and so it, it fits yes it fits strange to this to this philosophy. You mentioned that Maxwell is really natural, very easy to use. But still, what do you think is the main barrier to users that just start using Maxwell? For me, it's the photographic approach, you know. I, I understand it, so I'm, I'm flexible to work with Maxwell. Um, you know, I was 10 years very expert, so I'm, when I'm using Maxwell, I, I was happy that you get the best quality results, but faster because of the production time. So as an artist, what I care about is to work fast during the day. What is your artistic process exactly? My artistic process is looking, looking at photography, looking at cinematography, looking at light, going to museums, taking pictures, because as soon as you understand how materials, how light is working, using physical correct render, you get the results straight away. So again, in my latest project, my creative director was telling me like, wow, uh, it looks like it's, it's ready to go. Don't, don't do anything. <laughs> Wait for the modeling updates and uh, that's working. What do you think are the most common mistakes that people... People are just adding layers on top of a layer, on top of another layer, and they just break much more. And then Instead you of keeping it simple? Yeah, I mean, uh, keep it simple, you know, it just doesn't have to be too complex. And you save time and render time, so that's the first common mistake. And the second common mistake is that because you don't think it's a different solution, it's not like really, so you're applying a heavy geometry to become a light, and that's become slow, and this is when you get the problems. Materials and light. It's the, it's the, well, there's many Wait. things to talk about, but the main things it's all about materials and light. Because don't forget, Maxwell doesn't set things to use. It's all about how you apply material and the light and how yeah. they work together. You set up your scene. 
Yes. So after all this traveling around the world, what is the feedback of the people that come to your talks? Well, that's a really good question. I, um, I actually, I like to see them inspired. Um, the best feedback was in 3 days London. I was uh, after my presentation, I was having drinks with some guys and they say like, I want to go back and work, you know, I want to go and apply these philosophies in, in my pipeline. Yeah, I was just saying that, you know, I want to finish this dream and let's going to keep you posted because I'm inspired, you know, it just changed the way I think. And as soon as you see them inspired, it keeps you going, you know, just, I just spend more time to improve your presentation. And I like to have, you know, happy clients and happy artists. So happy rendering, as you said. <laughs> Why do you think they feel so inspired by your talks? What is it that you offer? I, I think it's the approach. Um, we're trying not to be technical, we're trying to be artists. And this creative lighting philosophy, it's all about art, you know. For us, we believe strongly in the artist. And we're trying to use simple techniques to get quality results. And simplicity is important, you know, and sensitivity. You have to be sensitive about your image you want to make. And we're always saying, have a message, know what you want to make before start making it. So I think they like the approach. Creative lighting is not just about this great and inspirational talk, it's also a training service that you offer. Of course, yes, it's a, we're offering training. Well, first, you need to inspire somebody. First, you need to make sure that he likes the approach. As soon as he likes the approach, we're happy to offer training. We want to make it personal, we want to meet them. First, we will review what is the pipeline, the current pipeline. We offer solutions. As soon as we make the training, we can offer also consultancy or we can keep on training by a Skype. Mm -hmm. But first, it needs to be there so we see who is these people, what they're doing, what the mistakes they might be making, and what for the solution. And I'm always saying, of course, that it's not something they can copy, but they can learn and understand. And I'm always interested to see their own perspective, like how they're getting out of these lessons and what mm -hmm. they make. So I'm always in touch with them to see mm -hmm. how it's going. And in our packages, we're not just saying like one go train and go. We're trying to go back after in a period of time and see what images they make. And if we can still offer an extra training by Skype or something, then we're more than happy to do it. But the point is to learn, you know, and use Maxwell as a tool. Yeah, to express yourself. To express yourself, yeah. Artist. Exactly, yeah. So what's up next? What do you have on your schedule? We have good things coming up. I mean, we, we're going to definitely keep going on events and workshops. We don't want to stop that because, as I said, inspiration is the first approach of creative light, inspire people. Um, we have some good trips coming up in Los Angeles, San Francisco. We're going to meet definitely some of the top clients there. Um, we're also going back to State of Art Academy, which I enjoyed a lot last year. Yeah, and this time, it. it's called Discovering Technologies. So we're proud to be there because they're going to discover what is creative lighting, a new brand. They're, they're going to discover what is Maxwell Render, a software. So you have so many plans, how can people learn about those plans? Where can they find out, find out what's going on? To well, I'm, I'm going to put a lot of effort on the blog. So I think that if people can follow, they can see about what's new about creative lighting, any upcoming workshops. Um, also putting all my photography there, all my inspiration. I will, I'm planning to add many photography for around the world that I'm having travels. And uh, one of my, let's say, plan for next year, it will be to host my own event bring all these people that I met and they're in the same location. Uh, there's many ideas. One of them is to use the iconic location of Greece, Andorini, which I love this island. And you know, hopefully next year in spring, if all goes well, we're going to host an event. And then it's a good message, you know, enjoy life in the iconic location and sharing knowledge. This is my plan. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me. I had a always. great fun. And it's always good to collaborate with you guys and thank you for the great support because thank you. we need it to continue, you know, it's, it's important for us. Thank you. Till next time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers.